Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the uh, Sega Genesis emulator and some ROMs for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to install or the installer. Go to install games and then scroll down to the G's and it's called Genesis for iPhone if you can see it I've got two of them on there but uh, if you don't have it in your thing you should it should come with installer but if you don't have it on it I'll give you a source it says zodtt dot com slash repo but I'll put it in the description if you don't have it you should have it there okay install that Okay. Now we'll finish. All right now, hit the home button. Slide to unlock. Okay. Now there it is. The you're probably not going to see it because it's kind of dark. I just got a little Sonic and the Sega Genesis on it. Okay. Open that up. I've already got a game in it, but when you pop it up, it'll tell you that you need to upload ROMs to var slash root slash mobile. Or I'll show you. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch to get the ROMs. Okay, now we're going to go to the computer. Okay, now what we're going to need to do is do the SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, and if you don't know how to SSH into your iPhone or iPod Touch, I will have a link in the description to the right um, on how to do that. On my, it's a I've got a video tutorial on that. Okay, so I'm gonna first. What you need to do is download uh, the Genesis ROMs. I've got a package of them. It's like 25 ROMs, I think, 26, something like that. Okay, it's in the description also. So download that and it will come in a zip folder so just uh, open that up and extract all files click right here I've already did it so my files are right here so I'm gonna open that up alright then open WinSCP or QDFTP Pro whichever you use and do the SSH okay it will connect alright now what you need to do is go to go all the way up keep clicking until you can't go up anymore until there's just a slash right here and go to var or this if you're on uh, if you are on firmware 1.1.3 or 1.1.4 this is what you're going to need to go go to you go to var and then go to mobile media and now if you don't already have a folder called ROMs you're going to need to create a folder it needs to be capital R O M lowercase s if you don't know how to create a folder, right click, go to new directory, and then just type capital R O M lowercase s, and it has to be lowercase and capitalized or it won't work. And then OK. Then open that up, and now you need to create a folder called Genesis. It has to be all caps. Caps. So go to new directory, then capital G E N E S I S, and then hit OK. All right. Now open that up. Now what you're gonna do is drag uh, the. Here's all the games that you downloaded, and you can download more uh, Genesis ROMs. Just search for it on Google. Search Genesis ROMs download or something like that, and you'll find some. Okay, I'm just gonna find one that I like right here. I've already got one in there. Uh, here I'll drag Harry Potter into there. Okay, just drag and drop it into the Genesis folder and copy. It will take a minute, just depending on how big the file is okay and then there you go now what you're gonna need to do is go on to your iPhone or iPod touch okay now just go to the Genesis emulator and something should pop up the first time you open it and say just you don't even have to read it just hit OK or whatever it says and then there's your games that you transferred there's a Harry Potter game that I just transferred Alright, when you click on it, just click start new game. Now see, it should be, I doubt you can read it, 
but there should be some little text up there and then it should start loading it should say what file it's loading and uh... it may take a while just it just wait through it it'll work and if the if it still doesn't work it should just take it should take a while to load but if it still doesn't work try to go into your applications folder in ssh i read this somewhere that you need to you may need to change the permissions of the genesis.app folder to 777 so just right click on it and go to change permissions alright there it is harry potter and the i can't even tell which one it is because it's so small i think it's the uh... sorcerer stone okay and there you go you're playing a harry potter game okay Stand the camera. All right. If you have any problems or questions or anything like that, just leave me a comment or send me a message on YouTube. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe.